As you may already know, my name's Claire Baker and I'm a former clutterholic and borderline hoarder. I successfully cleared all my clutter over 20 years ago without the need for an expensive home visit. And I've been helping people around the world do exactly the same ever since so that they too can know what it's like to live a completely clutter-free life forever. Now, it's important to me that you know that you're not alone and your experiences and challenges are not unique to you. Those of us who struggle with clutter rarely have supportive friends and family. We don't understand why we struggle, do we? Our friends and family don't understand why we struggle. And the frustration that none of us understand why we're struggling with our clutter can often lead to World War III. So I like to share my experiences to help fellow clutterholics and hoarders and their friends and family to understand and illustrate some of the thoughts, feelings and experiences that we have when we struggle with clutter. So in this video, I'm going to share how I dared to dream about being completely clutter free and how life uh, ACC, as I call it, so after clutter clearing, turned out to be way better than I ever dreamed. So over 20 years ago, I never dreamed that clearing my clutter would change my life in so many ways. And I never imagined that it would also lead to me making major decisions in other areas of my life. On Millennium Eve, I reached my true turning point when I realized that things had to change, that I had to do whatever it took to clear my clutter so that I could start living my best life and the life I believed I was meant to have. My main dream was to share the rest of my life with someone who loved me unconditionally. I had always had difficult relationships with people. And with hindsight, I can see why that was, because I had developed unhealthy attachment to people at an early age. Having never made a healthy emotional bond with my parents, I was very needy. I was very clingy uh, and in, very insecure in my friendships and relationships, especially with men. With my clutter, I had never been able to entertain at home uh, or just sit and watch TV with others. So all my friends and relationships, friendships and relationships were very one way, never particularly deep and very short lived. My most serious relationship by Millennium Eve was a failed engagement to a man I met in London who had to return to his home in Senegal, West Africa, to renew his visa soon after we became a couple. With hindsight, I probably said yes to his proposal the night before he got on his plane home precisely because it was would be me traveling to visit him so I would never have to uh, deal with my clutter. Of course, I tried to convince myself that I cleared my clutter before he returned months later, but it, I never did. I never cleared it. But then again, he never returned to the UK either. I got on a plane at Banjul Airport in Gambia to fly home 10 months later, the night, same night Princess Diana died, and I'd already decided that our relationship was over and I would never be returning again. The one thing I dreamed of achieving by clearing my clutter was simply to be able to invite a man into my home, enjoy his company, be able to relax, um, be my insecure self uh, in my own home, that he would accept uh, me and I wouldn't feel judged, that I'd feel loved unconditionally and have a happy, healthy life. I dared to dream and I did the doing and the photo on the Clutter Clearing website uh, proves that I made my dreams come true. One thing I hadn't expected by daring to dream and dreaming big was just how many other dreams I had beyond that first dream that also came true. When you have one overriding dream, it tends to dominate all others. Yet once again, uh, you can achieve the dream and your confidence can build and you can find that you have other uh, dreams that start to appear. For example, I'd always felt uh, unfulfilled by my jobs. I say jobs because I didn't exactly have a career. I got bored very easily. I struggled to focus. I always preferred a new challenge. Can we see any similarities with our clutter? I'd always dreamed of running my own business. I even considered doing an MBA at the London Business School, but I didn't want to run a big corporate company. I also wanted to help people. I'd enjoyed working at the British Red Cross Society, but there was no real career there. So I moved into project management and, and I made good money, but it was just a job. It wasn't a passion that was worth a one hour commute each way. 
So I quit my job to focus on uh, clearing my clutter, which was the mental challenge that I needed and I enjoyed because I loved learning. I loved figuring out and testing it on myself. And to my surprise, I thoroughly enjoyed the challenge of my clutter clearing journey. When I was done and started looking for, to, to get a proper job again, that familiar feeling of unfulfillment returned. I had no career to slot back into. And I looked at jobs thinking, yeah, I can do that. But do I want to do that? I went to see my therapist, who I had seen from time to time on specific issues and throughout my clutter clearing journey to explore this lack of fulfillment and passion that I had. And she recommended that I do something called NLP. Neuro linguistic programming. You don't need therapy to figure this out, she said. You can figure this out yourself with the right tools. Do the NLP training. It'll give you some very valuable personal tools to help you figure out what you might want to do next. And it'll also give you some skills that you might be able to use in whatever you decide your next step is. So I did the NLP training and I met people who had very clear dreams and knew exactly what they wanted to do with their lives. And it wasn't until the weekend we all qualified that I had my light bulb moments of what my business dream was. I wanted to help people do what I'd done. I wanted to help other people become completely clutter free like me without the need for an expensive home visit. And I wanted to enable and support people to clear their clutter so that they too could start living their best life just like I was. I was going to set up a business sharing my new clutter clearing skills. Once again, I started to dare to dream. I got clear about what I wanted my business to look like. I started to get excited and passionate and the belief that I could do this started to grow. I placed one advert in a local magazine offering to teach people to do what I had done. I gave it the heading Life Laundry after a decluttering TV program that was on at the time. I got three bookings and realized that maybe there is demand for this. I cashed in some shares for my first website and Clutter Clearing was born. I continue to evolve my Clutter Clearing dream when I do my Wheel of Life reviews regularly. My self-confidence grows every time I achieve my next goal and dream. When clients and members tell me that they don't believe that they can clear their clutter, I always tell them I didn't believe I could clear my clutter either. And, but I'm only able to help you now because I dared to dream.